Hello everyone, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access, where I continue to experiment with the Duna City. And in particular, this time we have closed off all the top nodes on everything but the cupola modules, I think. And, oh, well, these tanks here, maybe. Maybe I should, ah, we'll just leave them be. Uh, so we've closed off a whole bunch of top nodes, and we'll see whether that improves the drag situation or whether it's roughly the same. After all, the, the system could be based mostly on the shape of things, in which case we have a lot of drag. Uh, so yeah, we'll see if that improves things as far as trying to get to orbit, and then we'll put some extra fuel and engines on in order to make up the difference. Right now it says 3,000 meters per second with all the drag that we have. Well, that doesn't work out quite well. Now, as with before, uh, we have got unbreakable joints on. Let's just... Oh, it's turned off between starts. Okay, fine. Now we have unbreakable joints on. I guess it resets to being off, but yeah, let's see. Or maybe it was the save. I uh, It might have been a uh, subsequent auto save that I left with. So anyway, let's just go out there and see what happens. Okay. Now there's pad two. I'm always suspicious of pad two. Certain degree of flex there. Bill's on board. And for some reason it's reading 10 tons of mod, prop mod propellant out of 9.56. Um, I'd like to get rid of the mod propellant, but let's just try this for now. Okay, so... Go. Yeah, all at once. The flex. The lag. Oh, it's really wobbling. Here, I'm gonna turn SAS off. No, that doesn't help anything. Oh, jeez. Well, this is not what it was doing before. But it's exciting! Uh oh. So much for unbreakable joints. There are there's a limit to that, I guess. Now last time we launched, it wasn't so frisky. <laughs> Obviously. But I think I lit the engines and then released the clamps before, I'm not sure though. Okay, revert to VAB. I swear Launchpad 1 will be better. Okay, well, let's just test that. Recover, select Launchpad 1, launch. I won't change anything else. Okay, here we are. And once again, we'll ignite the engines and release the clamps at the same time. It's wobbling. Oh, it's getting more and more wobbly. Maybe throttling down. It's definitely as bad. Oh. Oh, things have happened. Hmm. Okay, fine, 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 fine. We'll light the engines and then release. A close to zero, let's release. Okay, I'll, I'll throw all down a bit. Nope, 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 nope. I think the struts aren't working. I checked that the struts had been connected, but I don't think they're doing anything right now. It's amazing how fast it's going in at certain times. <laughs> oh boy. Here, point up. Ooh. 
Ooh. Ooh. Now we're talking. Took it a while to actually get this explosion, but... Default name, what? One... 190? 193? Oop. There's still some bits rolling around. Of course, the effectiveness of more struts is still uncertain. Maybe I should have a lower set controller too. We're probably controlling from up there. There's no special reason for that. Okay, now our route is lower. That may or may not be a good thing. Alright, well, it's still flexing. Place your bets. <laughs> I forgot to zero out the controls last time. Well, the outer arms are quite mobile, but the center seems a little bit more stable. Okay, you know the drill, we're gonna be going up for a while. Oh, I forgot about the cross feed. We don't want to dump the extra two engines early. Not efficient, but perhaps necessary. Up we go! Looking quite stable, isn't it? Okay, we are now four kilometers up. Unfortunately, we can't get a very definitive read on the drag because we've made other changes. Like making the arms more stable, apparently. We're even sort of turning. I'm trying to keep it to prograde though. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, a lot of drag right here though. Trying my best to turn it back to prograde, but it doesn't want to go there. Okay. Counter steer. Counter steer. Ten kilometers in altitude. Not at the speed of sound yet. But getting there. We're not gonna make orbit on this stage. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. I should have just gone straight up. I'm trying to turn was pointless. We're going the wrong way now anyway. We're past the speed of sound though. Maybe I should just go this way. <laughs> I don't have much of a choice. I don't trust those Delta V numbers at all, not with that little fuel. Yeah, I, I just don't think that the Delta V numbers bear any resemblance to reality, really. Whoa, flex. Well, I want to see about the booster set, so let's see about the booster set. Again, th those those separatrons are actually firing backwards. It's just uh, the sheer amount of our drag is what's leading them to go forward. They're more streamlined than this is, is the reason. I mean, technically we have the Delta V, I suppose, uh, but we don't have the time or the acceleration right now. Not with these engines. Well, okay, okay, okay. Let me see what I can do about that. First, let's dump that mod propellant. Okay, so I've dumped the mod propellant and I've added boosters. 
and you can barely see them because it's nighttime, but I can't time warp because it's still sort of physically doing things. It's got a surface velocity of 0.5. So we'll just have to go. And so there's another set of boosters next to the first set. And I, I feel like the first set is leaning out, so that's not a good sign. But let's see what happens. Ooh, that flex. You know, as long as the core is stable. I just want it to go straight up for a while. Seems promising. Just six engines. I mean, it's certainly not the biggest rocket we can conceive of. Oh, apparently I missed crossfeed on some of the decouplers, so I thought I'd gotten all of those. Okay, there we are, all even. Might be a good idea to dump some of them earlier than the others, but... It all depends on exactly how they decide to get dumped. Whether they crash into something or not. Now well, seems pretty stable so far as we approach two kilometers in height. Well, it's decided to lean to the east on its own and I'll just let that be. <laughs> uh, oh, maybe I should help it out. Oh no, it's going the other way now. Maybe it was too late. Well, if it ends up being a success, it's sort of a shame that it's in the dark, but... Time passed in the VAB, what can I say? Uh-oh, 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 it's going the other way again. Uh, right around here, it just decides to go that way. No, no, oh no, 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 come on, come on, don't, don't, don't go further, don't go further, don't go further. Okay. Okay. Past the speed of sound now, oh, 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 oh. I need to go up higher, please. I'm trying my best to turn it here, but it's not wanting to turn much. Don't want to overdo it. Don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. No! Stop. The arms just have a lot of recoil. They sort of fight things. As long as they're still catching air. Ah, uh, the Delta V reading is still lying. Okay, well, the boosters have done their thing. And let's go with the nuclear engine and see where we get to. Uh oh. Um, okay, I, I don't know why it did it the way it did it. We're not supposed to be controlling from a booster. Ooh. That sound didn't go well. Okay. Wait, we're supposed to be controlling from here. Why were we controlling from a booster? I don't know. The booster sure wasn't the root part or anything. It doesn't even have a controller on it. Okay, well time to wap waps. This is going up. So, in theory, we can get to orbit. But are we going to have enough to get over to Duna and then land is a whole other business. And then, of course, we'll disappear the stress of landing. Okay, well, it's horribly lopsided, but we're making it. Uh, I'll just go with that. All right. So now we have 1,823 it says, but it depends on how it's reading that, in order to get to Duna and then land on Duna. Now, bright side, this thing is going to have a lot of drag, so it's going to slow down. It's really laggy right now. I didn't check exactly how many parts we've got now that I added boosters as well as more struts. 
Well, it says we're entering SOI there, so that's good in theory. Oh, okay, well, that was a minimum. We'll take it though. Okay, so 1,133. Oh, lots of lights. Lots and lots of lights. Got to turn those on earlier. But then again, we might be losing electric charge. We've got a nuke though, but let's see. Reactor enabled. Is it enough to run all the lights? Seems that way. Oh, we lost a module down here. Probably when the boosters separated. So, imperfect, we lost a bit down here. Okay, let's go. In my best judgment, it's already time to go, despite this thing. But, uh, it's tough to tell, really. It seems like we've gone too far. Here it's getting close. No, it's not getting closer. Okay, well, alright. 311 is the correction. So, I don't think I did that right. <laughs> but okay, let's do this for now. All the lights. Up we go. With this monstrosity. There wasn't so much lag, I could probably cut this burn down a little bit. It probably doesn't need to be this severe. Okay, conducting this burn. Okay, here comes the orbit. But we're running out of delta V here. Okay, well now we're crashing into the surface. But you know what? Maybe we should just go with that. <laughs> um, uh, no, probably a more gentler approach would be better, but we'll deal with that once we get into the SOI. 452 meters per second left. Well, let's go over there. Okay, we are in Duna SOI. And I'm tempted to just go for the crash course here. Uh, I guess it doesn't cost that much to lift it up. 14 it looks like. Okay, well, maneuver node then. Well, close enough. Okay, well, 20 kilometers? I guess that's okay. Has to be right at the Terminator. Anyway. We will take that 438 to attempt to land. I mean, it's not like it's running on solar panels anyway. It's got a nuclear reactor and everything. All right, I can't see where Duna is right now. Let us just closer and then we'll have the dramatics. There will be dramatics. And lag, lots and lots of lag. Okay, well, we're, we're approaching Duna. Let's see what happens. Okay, music has changed. Approaching atmospheric interface. The uh, SAS controls seem awful binary, right? Uh, just go full up or f stuff like that, I don't know. Hope it knows what it's doing. Come on, colossal drag. Uh, we seem to be deviating from retrograde here. Uh oh. Oh no. Um. No. No. Please. Come on, there's a ton of reaction wheels on here. Oh no. Oh no. 
Well, it's gone like this again. So maybe I should put like wing pieces at the top. Pull the center of lift to this side, maybe. I don't know, it could still go right. Uh, it's not looking great. Parachutes also, but it would take a lot of parachutes to orient this properly. Well, even the reactor can't keep up with the demands of the reaction wheels. The electric charge is diminishing. It's taking forever to get down. This is a slow motion train wreck to be sure. Might be four real seconds to one in-game second sometimes. I mean, we are slowing down nicely. The terrain doesn't look particularly level, though. Maybe, just maybe... We can do this. Going back to retrograde here. That's just my attempt to help it stay retrograde. I don't know when to start decelerating actually though. The lag is just throwing off my sense of things. like we can do it, potentially. Okay, go down faster, please. Where are we measuring to the ground from, exactly? Hopefully it's the controller at the bottom. You can see a plume on the ground. Oh, we're tilting a little bit. Oh, we're horizontal a bit. And we're out of Delta V. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, 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 I think we lost a module, but... Ladies and gentlemen, with zero Delta V, we have... A city on Duna. It's a bit wobbly. I'm not too sure there's any kerbals inside. It's probably for the best. Oh no, there's a Sigrik Kerman. Oh, there's another one. Bob. Bob's there. There's a lot of seats, let's face it. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna go through. We have at least two kerbals inside the city on Duna. And we have made it. Unbreakable joints was necessary. We're losing power. Um, so as the sun sets, we'll... Uh, well, conversion rate is 50%. Let's just bump that up to 100%. There we go. That's better. I don't know how long it'll last, but... Uh, yeah. All right. So, City on Duna. There you have it. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.